Okay, how do you find how do you find which of these uh, two poles which are labeled with bits of paper, which of them is north and which is south? Okay. Obviously, one way is to use a compass. Okay. On the compass, you have a compass needle that points north. And since the compass compass needle is actually a small magnet, so if it if it points north, okay, that end points north, and if you bring one end of the magnet near to it, and it's attracted to that, okay, that must be the south pole of the bar magnet. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's moving the needle around. Okay. So if the, the north pointing needle of the compass points at that end of the magnet, that's obviously my south pole of the magnet. Okay, but supposing you don't have a compass, suppose Supposing you don't have a compass, how do you tell which is north and which is south? Okay, another possibility is if another possibility is if you have a magnet for which you know the poles. Okay, so if I bring um, the south pole of this magnet near to one end of this ball mag magnet, I can feel it's repelling. The okay, light poles repel, it's trying to push apart. Okay, let me let me show you this. This is the south pole of this magnet. If I bring this end of the ball magnet near to it, it will push it away. Okay? It's repelling. So this must also be a south pole. And if I bring the other, if I turn the magnet around, I bring the other side of it near to the bar magnet. I'm going to hold on to it so it won't slam together. It's going to attract and stick together. So if this is the south pole of the bar magnet, the ball magnet, the part of it that's touching the bar magnet, must be the north pole. That's another method of finding which is north and which is south. But what happens if you don't have a compass and you don't have a bar magnet for which you know the, the orientation of the poles? How do you find out which side of this, which pole of this ball magnet is north and which, which side of it is south? For that, we have to look at a map.